off of a regular attack with Yahaba, you're not going to get much damage, so I recommend if you do want to spend meter, just going for a single boulder toss, but most of the time I recommend just not spending any meter and going for a down combo or an up combo to push the opponent away, and if they don't auto a quick recover, you can build about four bars of meter just from doing an upwards combo. So it's a very powerful tactic if you notice your opponent doesn't do an automatic quick recover, you can build a ton of meter and distance. Now the only damage you're really going to get with Yahaba is off of your special moves. If you want to get a bunch of damage off of your rocks and do a full cash out, you can do this whole cash out sequence and this is about the most you can get. Whoops. Rock, 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 tilt special, rock, 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 tilt special, rock, rock, rock. You can throw in a demon skill there if you want to do a little bit of extra damage. About, it's about half of the opponent's life, but I recommend being a little bit more wise with your meter and maybe just going for the, um, something like this. So rock, 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 into this demon skill. And that costs you a little less meter, so you still have some special meter to throw some rocks afterwards. And it still does about 4,000 damage, so still very good stuff. Just a little bit less, a little more wise. If you get a blue combo, you can add a little bit more, because you've got more time. So you can go for stuff like this. You can even throw an ultimate at the end there. And that was over half of the opponent's life just for cashing out. And if you ignore the ultimate, that's really good damage. You could have thrown a boost at the end there to get all of your meter back. But as you can see, you can throw an ultimate at the end and get a big chunk of damage if you want to cash out. But um, also equally high damage he will get is just off of a stray projectiles into an ultimate. And other than this stuff, Yahaba is not going to really be getting too much other combos. Obviously he has his Twitter combos that are like this, if you manage to magically do stuff like this online, if your opponent just happens to get by, hit by your down arrow magically, you can do stuff like this and do a big chunk of damage. I messed it up, you can do even more damage if you order that differently, but you can loop things like that. And if you're in surge mode, obviously you can do pretty ridiculous stuff. This is nearly a touch of death even without an ultimate, especially if you're against a character like a demon or something, it does tons of damage and you have the, ultimate, or the option of throwing an ultimate anytime. So easy touch of death when you're in surge mode. And if you want to throw an ultimate in your combos, it's the easiest thing in the world with Yahaba because he has a really, really good ultimate activation. So just off of literally any of his projectiles, even his demon skill, you can throw an ultimate and it'll combo as long as you have enough time. That's about it for combos with Yahaba. You're not going to really want to get combos off of your aerial attacks. You'll use that hard knockdown to build meter. Off of your guard, um, your strong attack, your armor attack, you just use that to push the opponent away and keep them away from you. You're not going to get much damage from it. So that's about all there is to say for combos with Yahaba. I hope this was helpful if you're learning to play him, and uh, check out my full breakdown video for him. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.